Just got home from Joker 2 or Joker Fully Ado, and here's my non-spoiler reaction. Now because I went to the FanFest sneak preview, I'm definitely not going to go into any spoilers on this video, but I will be posting a video probably around like Saturday or Sunday talking about the ending and my overall thoughts and spoilers of this movie because there are a lot of things that I want to talk about. This movie was a full-on musical, and I was expecting it to be a musical, but not to the degree that it was. Like, this actually felt like a full-on musical. Like, there were scenes, or, like, moments, yeah, scenes in this movie where, you know, it would cut to black, and then it would open up with dialogue or a song, and then move on to either dialogue or a song, whichever it didn't open with, and then fade to black, and then all of a sudden we would be in another scene, much like any musical that you would see. Gaga and Joaquin Phoenix's voices and the lyrics and just the way that they performed in this movie in both, you know, acting wise and vocally singing was spectacular. Gaga's Harley was great. Uh, this was a role that she was born to, to do, specifically in this type of scenario. I don't think that she could have worked as like, you know, the Margot Robbie Harley Quinn, but this type of Harley Quinn worked very well and worked and she killed it. And I don't think that you can list, you know, saying Gaga, Robbie, whatever, because they play two very different characters. They're, they're both Harley Quinzel, but they play both much different versions of this character. And each of them play to the strengths of that, like the history of that character. And it works so, they both work so well. One thing that I went into this movie, you know, thinking about was, was this a necessary sequel? You know, the, the first movie... Joaquin got best actor, you know, best original score. Was this sequel necessary? And I, I, based off of what I saw in this movie, I think it was a full continuation of that story. It doesn't feel like, you know, they push the, they push the storylines to, you know, create a sequel. It actually feels like it was necessary to tell this story to further talk about Arthur's, you know, the Joker and, you know, find out more about him. The rest of the cast is great. Uh, Steve Cogan is just in it for one movie. Uh, Brendan Gleeson, uh, you know, Mad-Eye Moody from Harry Potter and a lot of other things. He plays uh, one of the security guards in Arkham. And, you know, in the trailers, oh, let me get back to the trailers. But he plays like a character so well, you know, he's singing, he's like talking with Arthur and there are moments where he's just like, you know, acting like a prison guard. Catherine Keener is really good as uh, Arthur's defense attorney. And then uh, the guy who played Harvey Dent, you know, regardless of the lore, the Batman history, whatever, the Harvey Dent stuff was really good. The characterization that he played, the, you know, this was the first, like, real time that we've seen him in a courtroom, with the exception of, like, that little scene in The Dark Knight, at the beginning of The Dark Knight. But, you know, seeing Harvey play this character, I mean, be this character... Uh, being a face of good for Gotham, like, it was nice to see that side of that character. Jumping back to the trailers, the trailers did not show half of this movie. Like, there are times where, you know, people will say, oh, this trailer gave the entire movie away, this trailer gave, like, this showed too much, we're seeing too many trailers, didn't happen. This, they, like, I was so surprised with a lot of the stuff that happened in this movie. Uh, the opening of this movie is a full-on Looney Tunes movie, like, short, which, like, I was shocked at. It was just so, like, so unexpected, and it was just a really good icebreaker for how the tone of that, that first movie was. After I watched that first movie that first time, I felt like I needed a palate cleanser after watching it. Like, I just needed to put on something funny that I know that, you know, I enjoy, I enjoy laughing at, but just because I needed to, like, decompress from it and cleanse my palate. This movie, I don't feel like I need that. I think a lot of people are going to be divided about this movie. I wouldn't say it's a perfect movie, and I there are a lot of things that, you know, people will like and not like, but I definitely think that this movie will leave a lot of people divided because this, it doesn't feel like the same movie as the first movie, which is okay. It didn't need to be the same thing, but, you know, I, I, if you're going in and correcting it's going to be the exact same thing, you're going to be disappointed, but... It's still a very enjoyable movie. The first hour does feel a little slow. However, the story that they build up to throughout the entire narrative and music and everything, it 
hits at the end and it just works so well. And I really want to talk about the ending and I cannot wait to share my thoughts on that. And I really want to hear other thoughts on it too. I'm rating Joker a four out of five. Uh, like I said, fantastic music. The cast was fantastic. Uh, there were a couple slow moments, but it was a very enjoyable movie for someone who needed a palate cleanser after watching the first movie. What did you think of Joker Fully Ado?